Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Today's subject is not endorsed by Harley Davidson or by Low Country Harley Davidson, but I received an email from Omar, and Omar had a really good idea and creating a tool that could help you with the question that's always brought to me every year is how do I jump start my motorcycle, Doc? I don't endorse jump starting a Harley Davidson because one, you can't have the motor running of the car or motorcycle. There's a lot of dangerous things. I'd rather you take the dead battery out, charge it, have it checked, and then put back in. But there are times, let's just say that you went on a toy run and you left your motorcycle on just by mistake and it's time to go back home and your motorcycle's dead and you need to get it jump started. And I have a viewer called Harley Girl and she has a police bike and to get to the battery on a police edition with the seat and the plastic and the ECM and all that, it's really difficult. So she asked, is there an easier way? Yes, there is. And let me show you, but please do this with caution. Every motorcycle lately has a starter on it and at the starter is a stud. Okay, and at this stud here goes directly to the battery. So this is the logical place. If you can't get to your battery underneath your seat and everything like that, this is the place to search for. But this, a lot of times, is underneath a lot of stuff, especially the new soft tails underneath the gas tank. And even on my 2013 Slim, it is really deep in there. What are you looking for on your motorcycle? Okay, on this FXR, it's a boot, a, a rubber boot that's going to be on every Harley Davidson and underneath it, is that stud. So we need to move this up just a little bit, but you're looking for that. So if you have a new soft tail, uh, you take this panel off and you can see it. If you have a soft tail of twin cam like mine, all right, you're going to have to look underneath the oil tank kind of deeply in here. Touring models have it a lot easier along with Sportsters that you can almost see it from the exhaust system, and if you have a true dual system, then it's easy to get to. But we're gonna get to that. That's what you're looking for on your motorcycle, is this stud. What I'm going to do is show you what Omar showed me in making a tool that makes it easier to get there. All right, we need the distance, safe distance, to get to this stud without touching anything on the motorcycle, because the motorcycle is the ground. And you put a positive and you touch the ground, you're gonna start TIG welding. All right, so, First thing I did was go home and find a wooden ruler or a plastic ruler because I don't want to reach underneath my oil tank and start sparks going. So I slid underneath my motorcycle and it took seven inches to clear the oil tank and anything else and the exhaust system. So seven inches. So Omar said, get yourself some half inch copper tubing. Now this brings up a funny story for Doc. He went to a hardware store and they had a five foot section under 20 bucks. Okay, I thought that's decent, all right. So I bring the five foot piece out and I'm riding my motorcycle. <laughs> this does not fit in a motorcycle. So I had to buy a tool. Well, tools are always needed, but a tool cutter, I stood in the parking lot and cut five sections <laughs> so I could fit in my bag to go back home. But, all right, so you get copper tubing, half inch size. You measure out the distance you need. I needed seven inches, but I need one more inch to make the tool. So now I have an eight inch tube with a mark on it. Now I have a vise at home, so I squeeze this down. If you don't have a vise at home, a good size hammer can probably do the same thing. But I flattened this whole thing out and marked the last inch because I'm going to bend this over so I have more girth for the booster cables to hold onto. Now you'll notice this round part. When I finished with my tool, I made a round part that about the size of a quarter. Why did I do that? Because I know that if I've got this piece here flat and I'm touching the starter and I'm reaching over to hit the starter button, this could slide off and I don't need the positive touching anything underneath my oil tank. So I made a groove that will stay there. So now I can concentrate on hitting the starter button with the jumper cable and it should work very nicely. Now I had to use a file 
I have a rounded file, I have a round, whatever it takes to get this shape so it will stay and you don't have to concentrate on it. Now, somebody said, well, why don't you just drill a hole and you put it over it? Well, the rubber cover won't pr let you slide something over it. So you have to get it from the edge. And I'm also thinking about, I'm in a parking lot here and it's really hard to get underneath the oil tank and all that. So all I want to do is slide this underneath, get it between the rubber and the bottom here and hit in. Now, for my way, Omar didn't show this, but for my safety, I wrap this three times with electrical tape, just in case. I really do not like sparks. I just, that's deep down in my, in my heart that I don't like sparks. So I wrapped it. So this is the tool. This tool can sit in my bag all day long. And if another person needed help or I needed help at a moment, I could pull this out, go underneath my oil tank. And if I had one of these boosters, this would fit right on the edge and I could slide it in if somebody had a car jumper cables all right this can hold on to this and then slide on to where I want to get the stud and the ground part goes to the frame of the motorcycle and that completes the circuit now all you want to do is have this on long enough to get it started if your bike will not start you don't want to overheat of course this copper tubing inside but Omar says his has been lasting for three to four years, and I think it's a viable tool that you could have to help yourself jumpstart your motorcycle without getting to your battery. As always, I got to say, this is not endorsed by Harley Davidson or Low Country Harley Davidson. This is something that was sent to me that I think I wanted to share with you. It's a possibility that you could make, have in your saddlebag, and help somebody out that happened to leave their key on when they shouldn't have. Otherwise, if you got a dead battery, take the battery out, charge it properly, and then put it back in and you're back on the road again. Just a little tech tip and a little help from a viewer from Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.